Hey, the Brigmaster here, and it's gonna be my Tiger and Bunny episode 24 review. Uh, something really sad happens in this episode. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's not true, but it's the way it's playing out. It, it, uh, looks like it. But yeah, this, this is a great episode. It's a great episode. Um, yeah. So basically, this episode starts off with uh. Tiger and Bun Barnaby, um, you know, gearing up trying to fight this dude, but apparently the, their powers can't activate yet, so they have to run around like chickens and, w and wait, wait for the powers to turn back on or defeat this dude. So they're ha they're having a lot of a lot of struggle, struggling times to fight this dude. But one thing I noticed out of this whole thing, though, while oh, they're fighting and all that stuff, oh my god, the animation is just—it was so beautiful in this episode. Oh my god, it was—it's. I would watch this again. Yeah, just look at the, the animation was just, was amazing. I, I don't know. I mean, that's that's wow. I I, I, was, I just love the animation. In this episode it was it was really well done. Like it was just you got you got to see it to believe what I'm saying. It's it's probably the best animation I've seen in anime. That was oh in some anime it's just in a fight scene anime it looks just so nice. God, but yeah they were fighting and stuff and like that. And so um the other heroes had to make make a decision. They're all. Like, you know, passion like, oh, who's going to press the button? You know, nervous and stuff. And uh, that Roland dude, Ro Ro Roland, or whatever his name is, um, is trying to get them to turn out, turn against each other. So he's making to where some people say certain things. Like, like uh, Sky High, he's like, man, I don't know. I might need to press this button. Because, I mean, I'm the only one that could, if, if, it would be, it'd be stupid if every superhero, if superhero dies. Like, at least if I can survive, I can do something and stuff. And then Brock Bison was getting all nervous about wanting, wanting to press the button. But then he's like, no. He's like, oh. No, no, nah. Okay. <laughs> he did like three times and crap, and then you know Blue Rose had to make a, a ex exceptional speech to get the heroes to be like trusting Tiger and Barnaby. They can do this. They can save these heroes. And uh, Lunatic they actually showed up. They showed. Um, I thought Lunatic was gonna do something, but Lunatic didn't do anything. But apparently, when Lunatic was uh like it was a flashback when Lunatic saved t t um Tiger. To, from getting caught, captured by that robot, he ended up actually trying to fight the robot, and the robot actually um, blasted um, Lunatic, and I was kind of surprised because he don't get hit often. So he's, I was like, kind of surprised when, when he got hit like that. And it's like a particle beam that that Tiger, um, that robot Tiger has, or the H01 has, is like a particle beam that like just kind of disintegrates or burns you or something like that. It, it, it's a killing, it's a killing device. So yeah, he knows about this device, and he's wondering if you know, he's wondering who the heck's doing all this. Uh, he's really thinking about this and. Basically, Master Maverick was just trying to tell everyone that uh, the heroes are in this um, fighting this terrorist threat, and it's really, really tough. So they don't, and you know, you gotta trust in the heroes that they'll, that they'll save this. But but his whole plan is he's gonna wipe all the heroes so the robot can, you know, then take over for for hero CV and stuff like that. So he's gonna basically say that uh, the heroes died in action and stuff like that, and it's like he just wow, it's just he's just really trying to use this stupid robot. So Tiger Bunny actually ended up getting their, t their powers back, and then they started actually doing something. They actually did go good luck mode, their combination good luck mode, where they kick and he punches, and they actually hit him. And I was like, oh snap, so they actually defeated it? But no, no, he actually got right back up, like nothing happened, and he started slashing them and stuff like that. And you just have so much problem fighting this guy. And so Tiger had to resort to uh, to actually holding him, holding the robot. Like, you know how, like, uh, this is a good example. Um, Dragon Ball Z, for, um, where Raditz and Goku, Goku had to hold Raditz and Pre Piccolo had to do the pistol bean cannon. That's basically what happened in this this little scenario. Tiger had to hold the robot while Barnaby get that particle gun to shoot the robot to kill it and stuff. And, and but Tiger saying he's gonna jump out the way, so he you know, Barnaby ends up actually shooting it and destroys the robot. And so as that was going on, Kaede ends up actually saving all the other heroes. She ends up um, breaking free from the um, little handcuff thing that he that she had and those guys got some cheap handcuffs and apparently where Kaede was is where that rolling guy was so he's like right behind her so she's like right there which is kind of stupid of her stupid him to do that she's he's the next I guess he didn't know that so I mean I don't know so he ended up she's gonna break him free ends up freezing the guy that was supposed to be some like you know, guarding her so she won't do anything stupid which they didn't really do anything and then she he, she ends up doing Kamehameha wave um ice ice like you know Freezing the dude, freezing rolling dude up, and then it ends up freezing all, freeing all the heroes, and so all the heroes are out. Kaede's free, and everything looks good and all, right? Tiger, Tiger didn't. Tiger ran out of power at the wrong moment, right when he was holding onto that robot. He ran, he ran out of power. He couldn't dodge it. 
So he got hit by the um, particle beam. Because um, I'm thinking he could possibly be alive because he didn't take the full throttle of the hit. But it still hit him pretty badly. So I, I don't know if he's going to be still... It, I don't know if he's alive because apparently he's like talking like he's going he's gonna to die and he's not moving now. And Barnaby's crying and, you know, Kaiden ends up coming. She ends up seeing her dad just out. Everyone sees him just like that he's dead. And I'm like... I really hope he's not dead. He's my fa he's one of my favorite characters of just anime. Period. I mean, this is just this is this sucks. So I'm really hoping it's not. I'm hoping he's not dead. Because the last thing, the stupid thing is, the last things he said was when he got close to the part of his face, like, "Wow, pal, you got uh, long eyelashes." This is like, why are you gonna, why are you gonna say that? At, like the last words. I mean, you're not gonna. I mean, you're like seriously. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just hoping he's not dead. I'm just hoping something like he's just hurt or passed out or something. I'm just. Because he has the regenerative abilities. Remember, remember, like, you know, back then he was able to regenerate himself. To, you know, heal himself faster. So I'm, I'm hoping his powers can do something like that. But at the same time, his powers ran out. So, yeah. So leave a comment below and tell me what you think of this episode. Because I, this is, this is a great episode. This sad moment had to happen in this episode. And I'm like, ah. Uh. So, yeah, leave a comment below. Rates if you like Tiger and Bunny. And, you know, if you like my review. And subscribe to my channel for some more Tiger and Bunny reviews because, I mean, it's coming down to, to the end. It's, like, about to be, like, the last episode, like, very, very soon. So, yeah, it's been the Breakmaster. And until then, break out.